The job market still piping hot. The delinquency rate on commercial backed securities has spiked and we're taking a closer look at your retirement funds and ESG priorities. Joining us right now, former White House economic advisor, Steve Moore. Good morning to you, Steve. Good morning, Jan. So despite expectations of a slowdown, we did see the biggest jobs increase since January. Job market's still pretty strong. So what does that mean big picture, especially as the feds get ready to talk interest rates again? Yeah, I, I was just listening to your report on college graduates getting jobs and I was thinking, you know, it was exactly, I'm a little older than you think. It was 40 years ago that I uh, entered the labor market in that terrible recession in the early 1980s and you couldn't even get a job as a burger flipper back then. <laughs> the economy was so bad. So these kids have it really well. I mean, there are a lot of jobs out there. And my advice to the young people, by the way, is, uh, you know, get a job while they're available. You never know when mm -hmm. that economy is going to shift. There are a lot of winds blowing in all sorts of different directions. But yeah, the, the jobs are out there. We did get a very healthy jobs report uh, on Friday, and that's good news. Wages are still uh, lagging behind inflation. And so that's obviously the, the bad news with the economy right now. And speaking of work, a lot of folks still working from home. Are you? Yeah. Are you one of the fortunate ones that gets to do that? <laughs> You know, I, I've definitely changed my work style since uh, COVID, you know, and, and so I probably work a couple of days a week now at home. So I'm telecommunicating as so many people are. And so. Um, well, this, this brings this, up a whole this, new, because uh, my point in, tell, in talking about this is that a lot of these employers are downsizing and they're letting their leases go entirely. Demand, as we know, for commercial real estate is down. What will this ultimately mean, Steve, when it comes to commercial office real estate? Boy, these banks, a lot of banks are in, in trouble because they have a lot of these mortgages on these office buildings and people, you know, the demand for office space has been reduced very dramatically. So that's one of the things that's worrisome uh, in the American economy right now. Uh, in fact, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal last week, Jan, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, what they're trying to do now, landlords are trying to... Uh, uh, transform these office buildings into condos and, and to housing because right. there's demand for housing well, that, and there isn't demand for office space because people are working from home. That's so we'll actually smart, right? With the housing uh, shortage, that would help, don't you think? Yeah, and it, it makes sense to do that. And, you know, a lot of these offices are in, you know, posh areas downtown where people might want to live. So we'll see whether they can pull that off and avert a real crisis in the commercial real estate sector. It's the one, and, you know, me meanwhile, the housing sector remains still pretty strong despite higher mortgage rates. Well, now more than ever, a lot of Americans are keeping a close eye on uh, retirements. I know you were yep. testifying on Capitol Hill today specifically yep. about ESG policies. Tell us how environmental, social, and governance policies are affecting the small investor who probably has no clue some of right. these companies are pushing ESG with their money. Exactly. So this is, so we just did a new report that I'll be testifying today called um, called uh, Putting uh, Politics Over Pensions. And so, you know, millions of Americans, most of the people watching this show have their money in an either a, a company pension plan or a 401k plan with one, probably one of the big investment firms, whether it might be J.B. Morgan or Charles Schwab or State Street or BlackRock. And a lot of these firms are using your money because that's your it's actually your money and they're voting for all of these esg initiatives things like divesting and oil and gas or putting quotas in terms of you know race and gender and so on and how many people you have on the board and these are things that are hostile to the companies they're not related to the bottom line of getting good return for shareholders so people should pay attention to what your money managers are doing jan and the ones that we rate very highly are dimensional vanguard and um and fidelity those are the three that don't do the esg game the ones that are terrible are blackrock state street uh ubs so people should check out our report at uh, at uh, the committee to unleash prosperity you can see whether your uh, money manager is playing politics with your pensions because i don't know about you jan when I invest my money, I don't want to save the world. I don't want to save the planet. I don't want to save the whales. I just want to get a re good return so I can retire with some money in my account. I hope that happens for you soon, Steve. And uh, we look forward to your report today on Capitol Hill. Have a great week. Okay, you too. Take care. Good to see you, Steve. Thank you.